And some more good news this afternoon. West Virginians from around the area are preparing for a night of live music, food, parades, and so much more. Our very own Ronnell Hunt is live and right in the middle of all of the action. What's going on, Ronnell? Marissa, this is just two out of the four days for the West Virginia Three Rivers Festival. And I can tell you already, not only is the sun beaming down on us, but the energy itself is already high. We see some of the Shriners just now coming past me. You can hear them roaring. But the carnival opened up last night. That was the first night. Now there's expected to be even more people because today kicks off that grand feature parade. As a matter of fact, as I roll out of the way, you can see the float that's going to start the parade right there. That's the West Virginia Three Rivers Festival float. And then we also have a whole bunch of other floats stretching all along. Now, right here where I'm standing at is right behind the Marion County Rescue Squad. This parade is going to go all the way through the downtown area. And we have some more Shriners coming through right now. But it's going to stretch all the way across downtown, wrapping and then going right where we all hopefully will be at the end of the day, which will be right in Palatine Park for all of the festivals, games, and carnivals. So stay tuned. We're going to have more for 12 News at 6. Reporting live in Fairmont for 12 News, I am Ron L. Hunt.